Hey everybody, CFP Reviews here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Optimus Prime. This is a really nice vehicle mode. As you can see, it's a cab over truck based on his G1 design. Nice, uh, nice controller. Rolls really well, like like rolling trucks should. So that's good. Um, take the trailer off. You can stand the trailer on its own and we'll stand that back there real quick and take a look at the truck a nice looking truck nice shiny silver nice shiny blue windows my only complaints about this vehicle mode is this is a really dull gray and that wouldn't bother me if it wasn't for the fact that those Really nice shiny silver. These. Really nice shiny silver. But those two. That one. And that one. That really boring gray. Don't know why. The other complaint I have about this mode is these gas tanks. are supposed to sit like that. They don't tab into place. So you just barely touch them and they fold in. Which is, I can see, yeah, that one did it anyway. I wasn't even trying to on that one. But yeah, uh... Has weapon storage for his gun. Set that off to the side. Look at that later. But, uh, that's about it as far as vehicle mode goes. Just to kind of show a size. There he is with side swap. They look, uh, look pretty good together. And if you're wondering, no. Oop, hit the camera. Side swap will not fit in the trailer he can go about that far so you could have him look like he's about to drive up but that's a really steep ramp he's not gonna make it but yeah so get him off to the side as far as the trailer we'll go ahead and look at it real quick you can stand it up adjust the camera you can split it you can see all that nice sculpted detail all throughout and it has this little robot thing that can come up you can fold arms down and he can kind of, he can kind of work on, say, if Optimus is damaged in battle or something. He can work on him. A nice feature. I don't, I don't care much for it, but it's cool that they included it. Instead of just giving you an empty hollow trailer. So we're just going to set that to the side and take a look at him. Now, transformation on this guy is pretty simple. Uh, to start with, you just want to open up all these flaps. He has one on each side, or one on each side. He has three on each side. Never fails. I always mess something up in these videos. Uh, take the gas tanks, fold them in. Go ahead and bring the legs down. Spin that around. You don't have to do that now, but I do it to get out of the way. Go ahead and pull the arms out. Now you have to go ahead and flip the head out. I don't know if you can really see that good. Let's see. Flip the head out and pull him up. And these, you just take them. And they just kind of fold in. Then it just kind of folds in on itself. And you go around to his back and he has these little flaps that you can't slide to kind of fill in his midsection and I keep bumping this camera it's bad it's might be the worst video yet fold out his hands and then open up his feet and you have Optimus Prime. Let's see. Let's raise this up a little bit. Kind of, so you can see him a little bit better. Oop, now we're on the level. There we go. So, pretty nice looking robot mode. I like that 
he doesn't really have much of a backpack. There's not a bunch of stuff hanging off of him like you would see on a lot of Transformers toys. As far as articulation, head is on a ball joint. Arms go all the way around. Swing out. Elbows bend. Wrist can swivel. Leg go pretty far forward. Back, but it's hindered due to that piece. Really good knee joint. Ankles can pivot. And it does have a little bit of waist, but they, the waist is also limited to that. So, stand him there. And his gun. You can fold it out. I'll just open his hand up. And just put that in. And now he is ready to go. So like I said, it is a really, really nice figure. I don't collect Transformers a whole lot. This is the first Transformer I bought in quite a long time. I just happened to see it and uh, really like the G1 design, so I had to get it. Um, he also does have one other kind of accessory. You can open this up and you can see the Matrix of Leadership in there which is pretty nice. He can take it out and hold it, but it, he can't hold it like he did in the show, so I don't really see the point. So yeah, that's about it for this guy. I'm gonna throw his gun back in his hand real quick. And uh, before we go, we'll show a quick little size comparison between him and Sideswap. Sideswap's a little small, little feller, uh, but uh, they look good together. Um, probably have a review of side swipe up about this time next week so stay tuned for it i got a couple more we'll do videos of and like i said we'll see where it goes from there but uh that's about it for today's video guys and uh see you next time